Hey, what's up, fam? GamerGuy7 Ace is here, and today back with another video. I want to talk about Sonic Mania Plus. Now, as you guys know, Sonic Mania Plus has been leaked. The good and bad endings, you know, Sega just does a terrible job at keeping things, you know, secret. Things always get leaked from them. Mania, it happened to Mania, happened to Forces, even happened to Sonic 4, and etc. I mean, what else is new? So a guy streamed Mania Plus and then he got the good ending of Sonic Mania Plus. Basically all five of the characters, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Mighty and Ray, run after Eggman and Eggman falls into the portal caused by the Phantom Ruby. So a lot of people like Twib have speculated that that leads into Forces DLC. And they're probably right, you know, um, because we are getting inevitable Sonic Forces DLC. But in this discussion video, I'm not discussing that. I want to discuss something different. I think that regardless of Force of DLC, Sonic Mania Plus might have retconned that game entirely. Maybe even Sonic Mania Adventures. Alright, here's why. Now, we all know Sonic Mania Adventures Part 1 takes place basically at the very end of Sonic Force is when classic Sonic, you know, he disappears and then he goes back to his uh, home world. And Sonic Mania Adventures starts right after that because, you know, they show the Phantom Ruby effects and he teleports back to Angel Island, you know? And, uh, but there's no Phantom Ruby in that whole cartoon series, you know, not in part one, part two, three, or four. There might be one in part five. And as you guys can recall, the Phantom Ruby is seen in the good ending in Sonic Mania. Super Sonic defeats uh, the Egg Reverie, or the Heavy King, uh, and Dr. Eggman, you know, the Phantom Ruby appears uh, out of the Heavy King, and it basically separates the Chaos Emeralds from Super Sonic, and then it merges them and then it creates the portal and then it sucks classic sonic into the portal and the phantom ruby both the phantom ruby and classic sonic get sucked in the portal right and then enter sonic mania plus encore mode it begins with sonic teleporting out of the phantom ruby portal onto angel island with the phantom ruby i mean if you compare the two scenes they almost connect and then he pursues the phantom ruby again and then he discovers mighty and ray now a lot of you can say well I mean, obviously it connects to Sonic Forces. Yes, that's what I thought for the longest time. But the Phantom Ruby went inside the portal with Sonic. Sonic Forces, classic Sonic just comes out of a random portal. Like, there is no Phantom Ruby that comes out with him. You know, they're, like, where did the Phantom Ruby go? You know, doesn't make sense. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking there's two different canons because... You know, Christian Whitehead has nothing to do with Sonic Forces. He has absolutely no input in the story or anything of Sonic Forces. And as we know, he already had an original story for Sonic Mania, like Dr. Eggman has been depressed, so the hard-boiled heavies picked up after his slack to try and, you know, see if they can defeat Sonic. But Izuka came, interfered, and he changed the story. It's like, why not we make the story part of this Phantom Ruby saga, and it will connect to Sonic Forces. So Christian Whitehead went along with that. But like I said, Christian Whitehead made it in Sonic Mania. So even though Forces DLC will most likely spawn out from Mania plus its good ending, who's to say Christian Whitehead won't connect that to a Mania sequel instead? You see what I'm saying? Like, because Christian Whitehead, he has no input in Sonic Forces story. He, I, I don't even think he's the brains behind uh, Sonic Mania Adventures. So in his own canon, Sonic Mania is just one game and Sonic Plus comes right after the ending of Sonic Mania. It makes complete sense. And like I said, a lot of you who are saying that Dr. Eggman falling into the portal leads to the Forces DLC, again, Christian Whitehead isn't in control of that. Who's to say that Christian Whitehead won't just build onto that and make another sequel of after Eggman falls into the portal or make another DLC content? You see where I'm getting at? You know, I mean, there's the overall canon that Sega is managing, and then there's Christian Whitehead's canon. This reminds me a lot about Fox X-Men, you know, Fox's X-Men franchise. The stories are always all over the place. The continuity doesn't make sense. Even Deadpool made a joke about it in the first Deadpool movie. He's like, the, the timelines just don't make sense because of different directors. Because unlike the MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe, Fox gives their directors more freedom to do whatever they want to with the story and it does only a few stories call back to other stories but it never makes sense like x-men origins you know um wolverine 
His brother looks exactly like him, Saber. Yet in X Men One, Sabretooth was blonde. You know, like I can get into the whole X Men continuity. It's completely fucked up. Like it does not follow any continuity at all. You know, and then X Men First Class, you see uh, Professor X very close with Mystique, but that has never been mentioned in the original trilogy. And it got so convoluted they retconned everything with X Men Days of Future Past. And even then, it's still confusing because then you got Logan. But yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's the same thing here. Different directors have their own different interpretations. Nevertheless, we'll have to wait and see when the last episode of Sonic Mania Adventures comes out, Part 5. I'm sure it will come out sometime next week. Who knows? The Phantom Ruby might come into play in Part 5. You know, and of course, we're getting Inevitable Forza DLC. So this video might be outdated by that time, but we'll see. But I'm sticking to my guts. I think Sonic Mania Plus in Christian Whitehead's mind retcons for Sonic Forces because it connects with each other way more fluidly than Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces. So what do you guys think here? So yeah, just something very weird I realized because it, you know, doesn't really make sense. The Phantom Ruby has to go somewhere. So, and it makes complete sense. I mean, after all, Sonic Mania Plus is the Encore mode. And what does Encore mean? Encore is basically when you do a performance and people say encore, they want you to give an additional performance, add it on, a continuation of your previous. And that's what the encore mode is of Sonic Mania Plus. Now the question is if encore mode is even canon. We shall find out soon. Alright guys, what do you think about all this? Do you think Sonic Mania Plus retcon Sonic Forces? Or do you think I'm just being crazy? Or do you think we should wait and see the final product when the game comes out? and Forza DLC and Part 5 of Sonic Mania Adventures. I think Sonic Mania Adventures is just its own thing. It's like a spin-off. All right, guys, take care. Remember to hit that bell button, especially so you don't miss a single episode, single upload I make. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, swag out.